10,000 to the complainant within two months, otherwise 18 percent interest and so on. But what he said was that the defendant, and he gave a lot of literature, a lot of literature, that how it can be false negative, you know. But the judge said, he, though he has produced a lot of things uh, to support his contention, we agree that the literature does support his story. However, it is a fact uh, that the report stated VDRL positive for Titer 1 in 8, which could mean either the wife or the husband could be suffering from venereal disease, and hence heavy dose of penicillin was administered. However, now this is the key thing I would like the message to give you. However, in the certificate issued by the doctor, there is not the slightest indication that the result should be treated as a preliminary result subject to confirmatory test. There is no iota to show that the results were in the nature of preliminary result and further confirmatory test should be carried out to resolve the diagnosis. We feel this is a serious deficiency on the part of the doctor and in view of the stigma and social trauma which the husband and wife have suffered, the doctor should pay the patient. This was the case. So the, the, my point of saying this is that the disclaimer, what is, this is the next question, what is the value of disclaimers which many pathologists put? Okay, I think it's very important. It does help. Disclaimers do help. So please make sure that you put disclaimers uh, in your reports, all right, saying that so many variables are there, specimen quality and all that, all right. And informed consent, again, if you're doing any procedure, FNAC, biopsy, this, that, please take informed consent, so, which shows that you have explained to the patient. Uh, now, uh, very quickly, prophylactic measures, we've already said, adhere to guidelines, SOPs, quality assurance programs, monitoring of trainee pathologists who can give you a lot of problems. Uh, if they are not good, non-pathology technical staff, refuse reporting on defective or doubtful specimens, don't hesitate to take second opinion from colleagues when in doubt, and have good communication between you and the clinician and you and the patient. And please document the same, document it. I spoke to the surgeon on this date, this time, so and so. Please document it. Otherwise, it has no value. All right? And professional indemnity insurance, if there's anybody here who doesn't have, doesn't not covered with professional indemnity insurance, please go tomorrow, today Sunday, you can't do it today. Go tomorrow and get the professional indemnity insurance. And in today's time, please take one crore cover because courts are awarding 50, 60 lakhs at the drop of a hat. Please get covered for one crore minimum, I'm telling you. And it does not cost much. For a pathologist, it may cost, I don't know how much, 10, 9, 10,000 rupees. Less than you pay for insurance for your car, all right? And totally tax deductible. Please have the security that you are insured. Should you have to pay compensation, there is somebody who will pay for it. Please don't omit to do that, all right? And uh, to summarize, dramatic changes are taking place in healthcare scenario. We need to identify these changes and develop coping mechanisms. Because according to me, the best way to deal with medical legal problems is to prevent them. And the book I have written, the title is Better Safe Than Sorry. Life can only be understood backward, but it must be lived forward, said by a Danish philosopher. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, any questions, please? Yes, Dr. Gavaskar. See, in India, there is no such practice, there is no such law in India. But the fact is that if you do an HIV test of somebody, A, you must have pre-counseling, post-counseling available to you, number one. Number two, 
ideally, ideally uh, in USA, for example, they have a consent form which says we have explained why we are doing it and what if it is positive, that is the counseling. Because in, in Mumbai, one advocate in Bombay hospital, his HIV was positive, they had not asked him also and they just told him bluntly, somebody, some RMO said, your HIV is positive. Next day, he jumped from the fifth floor and died. He jumped and killed himself, all right? So that counseling has to be done that look here, even if it's, and of course, you need to say Western blood test, all that, you just don't easily do it, easily don't uh, call them positive. No, no, that is wrong. That is wrong and it is illegal. You must explain, you must do counseling. Yeah. See, if it is an adult that is above 18 years, right? Minor different minor is different, you tell the guardian. If it is adult, you are supposed to tell after doing all confirmation, you have a very important test, very important thing. You must tell the patient, explain to the patient, this is what it is. Of course, you have to do it in a prescribed manner, post-counseling, what they call it, post-counseling, right? But you have to. If you don't, and later he comes, you are in trouble, all right, that you are not told. Actually, your employer. What is the meaning of vicarious liability? Employer is responsible for the action of the employee. If you are an employee, then the liability lies with your employer. If it is a civil compensation matter, criminal matter, only you and you are responsible. If it's a criminal charge, all right? But criminal negligence. But civil negligence, your employer is supposed to cover you up. <coughs> I am a private practicing pathologist. Uh, many of the times I receive the samples from the elder patients and sometimes I receive samples only. And I will have to issue the reports to the physician only. So sometimes the, the patient, patient's relative, nobody is coming in the direct contact with the laboratory. And the reports are being issued to the doctor only. One case, another case, sometimes the patient comes at the lab, gives the sample and gives the instructions to kindly send those reports to my Doctor on nobody will come to collect the report. Yeah. And in that case, something like for example HIV, for that case only, it comes positive and the report is being issued. Now what will happen? No, you must issue to the doctor who has referred to no, that is fine, yeah. but you. But you told that the counseling and all these things has to be done then. What, 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 what will happen in that case? No, you have to say please meet your doctor. You, that's not your job. No, no, no. There is no direct contact at all. Uh, report are being issued as such. Okay, then what, is the, the, what yes. is the problem then? Where is the counseling part in that case? So that you don't do the doctor. He who is going to interpret that report? He has to show it to his doctor, no? You, he has to go to his doctor. Yeah, that is yeah. true. But, but but the counseling part will not be there. No, 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 not at all. And it has to be confidential. That is correct. You can tell the patient. You can tell his doctor. But don't tell anybody else. Not even his spouse. Not even husband. Not even wife. All right. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, all other questions can be taken up during tea. I would like Dr. Gavaskar to present, uh, sir, with uh, 